Here are some tips and tricks for using your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. Now, let's take it to the test. Let's use the polynomial tools feature to find real and imaginary roots. I'm going to show you three examples how. I'll walk you through the first one and pick up the pace a little in the second and third. Let's start with x squared minus 6x minus 16 equals zero. To use this feature, just navigate through your handhelds menu, starting from a blank calculator page. You don't enter the equation until the end. Select algebra, then polynomial tools, and find roots of polynomial. That opens this dialog box. Leave degree at two for solving quadratics. That's standard for most big exams. Arrow down to roots and choose complex. That will give you both real and complex roots. Select OK to open the next dialog box and plug in your coefficients. One, negative six, and negative 16. Select OK. There's the equation. Press Enter. And now you have the roots, negative two and eight. If you graph the equation, the parabola intersects the x-axis at negative two and eight. Let's try that again. I'm going to go a little faster this time. Find the roots for x squared plus eight x plus 16 equals zero. Open the menu, select algebra, then polynomial tools. Keep the degree two, choose complex. Okay, enter the coefficients, one, eight, and 16. Okay, there's your equation. And there are the roots. Notice they're both negative four. That's called a double root. If you graph it, it intersects the x-axis at one location. Okay, last one, follow along. Open the app. Make sure you use a second degree polynomial and show complex roots. Enter the coefficients. 1, 4, 7. This is different. Remember when I said select complex in the menu? Here's why. The solutions in this example are complex numbers, and the coefficient of i is irrational, so it can't be converted to fractions. So graphically, the equation would never intersect the x-axis. Great! Now you know how to use the polynomial tools feature. The Tips and Tricks document has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. And be sure to check out the rest of the Tips and Tricks for Test Success videos. And hey, good luck on that exam.